In Dallas right now, public safety a top concern. And as Martin Luther King Jr. Day approaches, Mayor Eric Johnson is telling the city we have to do better, declaring a 2020 year a year of nonviolence. Reporter Aaron Jones live in Dallas with more on what all this entails. Aaron. Brooke, last year there were more than 200 homicides in the city of Dallas. And tonight, Mayor Eric Johnson says while police are working to reduce violent crime, the public also has to do their part. Yay. From little Rory Norman, killed in his own home, to 18 year old Mark Strickland, shot multiple times at a high school basketball game. 11 people have been killed violently so far this year in Dallas. We have to do more. We have to do more. MLK weekend, I feel, is a perfect weekend, a perfect time, a perfect moment for us to send a message to our entire city. At the 38th MLK Gala, Mayor Eric Johnson issued a proclamation declaring 2020 a year of nonviolence in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. He preached the principle of nonviolent action. This comes just weeks after Dallas Police Chief Renee Hall released a crime plan aiming for a 10% reduction in murders in South Dallas, a 10% reduction in robberies in Northeast and Southwest Dallas, and a 5% violent crime reduction citywide. She believes it can be achieved through an intelligence led policing division and a 100 officer violent crime response team. Also, saying there will be more warrant roundups and deterrent programs trying to transition violent offenders into a non criminal lifestyle. Johnson says the community also plays a part in reducing violent crime. This weekend serves as a reminder of how much people can achieve, how much they can accomplish with their resolve, their determination, their faith, and reason as their weapons. And Johnson wants to see violent crime reduced to 2018 levels at least. This time in 2018, the city had only seen five homicides, so we've already doubled that so far this year. Brooke, it's not looking good. Reporting live in Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. Aaron.